Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Webbed, where today, hopefully we're gonna finish helping these, uh, these friendly ants construct their giant mech, their giant awesome mech. I mean, I really want to see the thing in action. I don't know exactly what they're planning on using it for. Like, are we gonna be, are we gonna be fighting the bird with it, or? Hmm, you, come here. There we go. Yeah, okay, good enough. I don't even know what that does. It probably just opens that thing, but from above. Or from, from below, in case you got stuck down here. This is a weird... Oh, well, alright. Doesn't look like you can do anything to it. What a strange... All right, let's maybe be a little bit more careful. What a strange little area that was. All right, hold on. We'll, we'll deal with that in a second. Boy, they've really, um, oh geez. Okay, even more room, hold on. They've really dug way down into the earth here, huh? So it looks to me like that's just gonna go back up. I guess, yeah, I guess let's go in here. So. Okay. I don't know if this is gonna, this might be a, this one might be a challenge. Hold on, let me try it, let me. Oh, we make a little bubble. That's, I wonder if that's based on like a real actual spider behavior of some kind. got this up here. We don't need you anymore, probably. Shoot, I can't. There we go. We're definitely going to need to pull this leftward at some point here. I've kind of left myself in a position where that's really awkward to do. Let me try the classic move here. We've got it pretty close. Let's just get underneath it and shoot it with spider lasers. Darn it, that's not... There we go. Okay. So now we just have to get two more lengths of piping into... Yep, all right. Honestly, this one's got to cover a lot of distance, but I'm not sure if I think this is going to be more difficult than the one that's down in the water. Maintain enough, uh, shoot. Let's get a little bit more pull on this thing. Darn it, right as I... Right as I let go of the button, it sort of like redrew the line on me. Yeah, there we go. I need to get 
Just like a couple of... Boy, how did I even do that? I'm trying to clear the connections that I accidentally made there. All right, that's fine, that'll work. Connect this thing up here, sort of swing it out to the side, and then we can cut that um, at some point later in the project here. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Just upward, that's not, uh, it's really hard to target through the strands of web sometimes. I think we can cut this stuff now. Uh, not quite, apparently. I thought we had it pulled up enough that it would just rest against the side of the, the rock there. There we go, that's what I need. This is turning out to be a little tricky. Trying to just move up that strand. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we should legitimately be able to cut this. Nope, not that one. Uh, okay, we're fine. We're so close. We're so close. So close to it just snapping in. There we go. Okay, last one, and this one's maybe gonna be tricky because I sure did drop this super far down. That is not what I did. Wait, let me. Let me. There we go. Yeah, I actually really appreciate the functionality of the little underwater bubble, because it one of the things it lets you do is um, jump while you're in the water, which makes the classic video game problem of getting out of the water way less annoying and tedious than it is in many games. How do I keep... There we go. How do I keep missing so badly? All right, we're gonna draw it up this way so that we can draw it up this way without accidentally tucking it under the rock. And all of this stuff can just get lasered later. Okay, that should probably be sufficient for me to break that. There we go, that's gonna, that's totally gonna get the job done. Sort of, kind of, eventually. Oh, come on, just... Just, just snap it. Just help me out a little bit here. There we go. Water pipes all set. What am I doing? For a second there, I forgot how being a spider works. Okay. So, I guess I should go up the other side. Just that we've seen all of both paths in case there's like a secret wall that needs to get blown out or something. Oh, I almost made it up there. Ooh, two. Oh, generous checkpointing. 
Ooh. All right. Everything's fine. Oh, I see. Come on, Rock. Rock, you can help me out just like a little bit. Okay, there we go. Nope, never mind. We cannot just go this way. I guess I could try to bring a rock all the way up here. Oh. Platform should be along any minute now, right? What? Spider just sort of slid off under under her own power. Oh. They killed me while I was dancing. Can you believe it? It's just cold-blooded is what that is. Okay. So the water pumps are active again. The fuel pumps. We got the power station back online. Yeah, we just we just need the fuel. Okay. Wait, wasn't there an area down there that we didn't go into? In the water area, I saw a bunch of, um... I saw a bunch of mines, or a bunch of those, like, um, those sensors, and I just bailed out. Because that's probably not gonna be okay, right? I probably need to actually figure out what's in there. Okay, well, one problem at a time, I guess. Shh, that's not what I meant to do. We're getting so close. Okay, that has to actually be like... It doesn't snap in quite the way I would like. If I do this, is it gonna weigh that down? No, it looks like it's gonna hold. Play along like a little bit if that wouldn't be too much of a problem for you. Okay, you know what? Worry about it later. I don't need elevators anyway. God, 
Why do they have to be so very far from the ground? How much closer do you think we have to get it before I can just shoot it in? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. It's not 100% as successful as I might have liked, unfortunately. <laughs> this would be a lot easier, I think, if the, um... If the camera was less moving constantly, less jittery is maybe a good word for it. It does feel like the, the camera's always shifting back and forth, and as such, your cursor is kind of moving back and forth a lot. Um, regardless of whether or not you are actually doing that. And it does make, uh, it does make a lot of the web connections harder to put together. Okay, so that passes on the momentum. I see, I see, I see. So this is all one movement. Nope, I should. Mm. Boy. My cog really has it in for me. How do I swing myself around to the other side? Because we we definitely can climb on these. Ah, oh, whatever. It's probably fine. Uh, yeah, I guess that'll work. Everything's fine. So... I think this gap is, is designed to not be enough space for one of these cogs to fall through. It's certainly not enough space for me to move up through, so... Alright, now that we have them both in place at least... How far over here? Ooh, yeah, do that. What I want to do is like, try to jam myself down in between these two things and just laser. You know what? I can probably just laser them both over the hump together, though. Okay. Spider's little waddle. No. There we go. Uh, perhaps overdid it slightly. Oh, come on. Come on. Just 
get in there. Oh. So a little more up and a little bit less to the right. There we go. I'm starting to get a little bit better at this. I really need you to swing back. Okay, you're not gonna swing back over here. There we go. That's more of the more of the angle I need. So close, please just just nudge upward. Okay, there we go. Right, what is that actually done? Oh, it's filled the that's all it takes to fill the pipes actually. And so has that pumped the um has that pumped the liquid out of the lower area? Okay, cool. Because we had definitely seen some areas where some liquid needed to get pumped. All right, let's try this again. What a what a gross nightmare. <laughs> I think I probably do want to connect the bottom pipe first. Let me Okay. Because it will hold up the other pipe for us to connect it afterward. It's actually going to be much more difficult. Um, for us to pull that bottom pipe up as far as it needs to go with the top pipe blocking our ability to connect it to the ceiling. Okay, so now let me pull the weight of this off of there. much upward. This is a really weird problem. There we go. Okay. Now we've managed to fasten that across. This does not feel like it's going to hold though. All right, nobody touch any of this machinery at all, ever. No, ah. a little bit better at sort of like moderating. Oh, we are not, in fact, done. Damn it. Yeah, see, it's, it's hitting the ground, not the pipe. Or the pipe is just also connected to the ground? Yeah, it sure is. There we go. And that, for some reason, was much harder to break. Hmm. 
See, this is the challenging part. Moving something upward without moving it side to side pretty much at all. It's very it seems very challenging. Alright, a little, perhaps, perhaps a little too much erratic motion. I'm gonna try something a little bit more ambitious here. Because what we really need to be doing is attaching this to surfaces that are higher than where it needs to go, right? And that roof just does not give us enough room to play with. Absolutely not going to be able to go up that way. Ah. I don't remember how many more larvae we were supposed to bring, but I think we're I think we're quite close actually. Yep. So, do I want to go back down into the water area and try to... There was that passage. You know what? Nah, I'm good. Let's just, let's just keep moving. Alright, how's everybody doing out here? So now all we have to do is get the uh, mandibles fixed, right? Yeah. That whole area is quite different now, it turns out. And I think I get what we're supposed to do. That is a platform upon which one of the, one of these days I'll remember you have to jump to get on the, the web. Uh, that is a platform upon which we can place the mandibles. running left and webbing there makes me a little nervous that maybe this is just not doable. Maybe we do have to do have to low roll it or low road it. Yep, I think so. All right, well. There we go. All right, so we haven't been over here since I realized that you can open up those particular kinds of rock walls with the laser. This is the area where I thought there might be something down there. Huh, so those loose hoses. I wonder if we webbed those hoses off in some way, I wonder if the, um, the liquid would just burn down. Ah, come on. Stupid, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try connecting it upward here, just give it somewhere else to be so it doesn't kill me. Ah, 
I guess there's really nothing to connect them to except each other, and that probably isn't the right thing. Yeah, because their edges are all broken, so... Okay, well, you know what? We just swung down there and saw that there is, uh, in fact, no reason to worry about that. It looks like there, there was not anything down there. Okay, so... What we need to do here is... Ah... Uh, Seems a little... It's gonna be a little heavy. Get up there. Why would a laser weapon have recoil, I ask you? Right, try to maneuver this upward a little bit. Long way to go. All right. All we gotta do is get the back end up and right enough that I can start grabbing the front end and trying to pull it up past the platform. I was not supposed to connect to another thread. Uh, I need to connect to the roof. Well, you know, that's not bad. That'll do. Actually, that's going to get stuck. You know what? I'm starting to think that maybe our best move is to um, just not use the platform. Just get it out of the way and lever this thing around it. Or sort of, you know, rotate this thing around it. There we go. Right, let's break all of the connections. This is absolutely doable. So let me pull the back end of this up and backwards a bit though. Try to create room for the uh this side to go up here. All right, what about 10,000 threads just bearing this end up very slightly? So we can create room to do stuff like this and nudge this thing over. Oh, I feel like we're getting so close. Move 
thing is, we want to just... Nope. Over overshooting. So I wanted to give it a little nudge from the back to get the um, to get the end properly up top. I think we're gonna have to destroy some of these as we as we pull this process. But as long as we're connecting the strands over top of the platform, we should be getting closer and closer. All of the tension is pulling it up like this. Okay. Let me try, rather than shooting it, let me try just ramming it with my body. Yeah, that worked. Uh, what is still, what is making that awkward? of in the way. There we go. I needed to break that one. Okay. And then that will leave a tempered mandible. It's not about following that thing and using it to complete a section of piping at all. That's just the furnace. Oh! Okay, that's not my fault. We were on the web and then the spider just kind of like dismounted without me. There we go. Right? There is such a thing as too fast. So, wait, did the... Okay, the mandibles got dropped off the platform for some reason. I'm assuming I should not allow that to touch me. Create. Yeah, let's create for myself a safe web shooting area. Yep, sorry, that's my. I should have warned you. Yep, too hot to deliver. Quench it in the. Oh, the vat. Okay, that's what that little bit of water is for. Uh, and also the reason that there's an elevator here. Hey, look at that. We figured it out. Okay, there we go. I know, I know, I know. Uh, I'm not allowed to shoot Webb while he's chatting with me either. That's a little, a little annoying. it again. I think we might need another... Here we go. Just for the moment. Just to, just to get some connections established. And in fact, that right there might even be enough for me to uh, just get out and shoot at it. Now we get the easy part of just dragging this huge piece of metal all of that distance.
go. Just get over there. So close. There we are. Alright, so that should be deliverable now. Sorry, watch out! He's, oh, he's fine, he's fine. The thing is, they're all fine. Sorry, friends. You'll just, uh... Can we just get this out of the way for a second? Oh, I'm sure I'm gonna have to attach those hoses. Uh, like I said, let's just out of the way. Ooh, I was able actually to do a lot of that work right there. Okay, that's... <laughs> we're calling that good enough. It might be best to get the water hose done before we do this other part. We're gonna have to pull the whole thing through here first. There we go. enough that really snapped into place I'm I'm very lucky there hey looking good comrade get over here and let's have a talk yeah okay what's up are you going to reward me in some way hold up a second comrade the platoon is moving out does that require me Imagine seeing that thing in your garden. Wow, what a beautiful display. Comrade Spider, we're making you an honorary member of the Engineering Corps for your service today. And I've sent a workforce ahead to help out with your mission on the surface. I'll have that balloon up and flying before you know it. Okay, well. The Ant Corps of Engineers, so that was a sticker, yes? Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> Safety first. Okay. So, we still owe a couple of, um... Ow. No, we, uh, we, we already knew about how to open stuff when we went down here, right? We still owe a couple of larvae. We need to find two more and then go back to the nursery. So I'm gonna try to go back up to the higher parts of the nest. I know that we had seen more of those little rock areas. Okay, did I miss anything over here? Does it look like it? Okay. Yep, that we got. This platform damn near killed me. in like the much much earlier parts ow 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 so this looks like it might just be an exit ah yes okay So 
so you're the elevator. Hmm. Oh. Right. Behooves us to perhaps be just a tiny bit careful swinging around here. So we just need to find one more. But I don't know where we would do that. We're getting pretty close to not being in the ant area at all anymore. Hmm, curious. Okay, so that's the exit. It's not much of a shortcut, is it? Well, well, if it isn't the brand new engineer. We appreciate the assist. The team has already arrived to work on that problem of yours. Go see lead engineer Vlad up by the balloon. I'm not quite ready. Okay, maybe that path down by the water area has the, the last one of these. Not another one in here. It doesn't look like. What a weird little room. This whole this whole thing is strange. All right. I could have sworn I saw a passage. We're gonna go find out. So water area. us to be just like the tiniest bit careful. It is weird though that I didn't see it on the way back up and I certainly can't tell you exactly where I thought it was so maybe maybe it's nothing at all maybe I'm not not really remembering a thing. I don't know it's so hard to tell with me. These are held open. Let's just try our best not to disturb anything. We did get the larva from here. Okay. Yeah, this. This is certainly not an area that we have done anything yet. Ow. So what is the deal with that? Why is this even here? Remarkably difficult to, uh, to navigate. Hi, what's your deal? Oh, thank goodness you're here. The fire ants hit this place pretty hard. Luckily, this drawbridge kept them out of the living quarters. But they damaged the control mechanism, and now I'm stuck on the wrong side. Could you help me repair it? Yeah. Interesting that this was not part of helping the ants recover from the attack. It was actually very bad. Okay. We did break it already. So 
Excuse me. Okay, drawbridge. Functional. Oh, right. I remember this area. So hold on, let's finish looking around on this side. Is this the, this is the way to the skateboard? Yep. <laughs> There is my discarded skateboard. So this is where the nursery is. What we need to hope is that there is somewhere in this room one more chamber. Unfortunately, it seems like we've seen the whole place already. Yeah. shoot then where could this last larva be I mean um, here we found this many re oh look at their little art projects yeah, I found several. Oh, I need two more, even. Fire ants are pretty sneaky with their hidden chambers. They sure are. Hmm. Maybe this is a thing to handle off camera. I can, I can do an exhaustive scouring. For now, let's, uh, I guess, just make it back to the entrance. to go this way. Alright. Door. What a weird, what a weird little area. It's just really, it's really bothering me because I feel like there are definitely hidden cavern rocks that we saw that I did not activate, or I didn't open because I didn't realize how they were opened. And now that I know how to open them, I can't find them again. It's just very frustrating. things going up here. Hey, fellow engineer. You can tell because of the hat. I'm Vlad, your airship mechanic. We're almost ready for the trip of a lifetime. Here, take these blueprints. We got lots to do. Okay, spider webs, engine, fuel. Yeah. Here's the rest of our pre-flight checklist. Find a way to patch up the balloon. I heard the bees to the east might be able to help with that. 
find a fuel source. Some good concentrated dung would work. See if you can find some to the west. Uh, attach the engine immediately be below the mouth of the balloon. And firmly secure pilot platform to balloon. Oh, and if you run into any trouble, just shoot the work bell and we'll reset everything for you. That's pretty cool. That's that's very helpful. So this, this just needs to get... Hmm. Alright, the ants showed up, made quick work of the tree. They've been badgering me with these designs for ages, but I've not had the courage to let them try it. I'm glad you're helping each other, though. Their plans seem solid, even if they're too bold for me. Okay, so I feel like we can at the very least just get this stuff rigged up. Yeah, I mean, they just kind of show the webs everywhere. Is all of this stuff... No, it looks like maybe this other stuff won't actually be able to be checked off until we until we do the other bits. Okay, well then, you know what? I think I'm just going to go ahead and call it right here for today then. We, uh, we have some new directions to pursue when we come back next time. Uh, so thank you all so much for watching. And when you return tomorrow... I guess we're going to make friends with a bunch of bees. This feels very unnatural to me, but I will, I will find a way to suppress my terror. And we'll see you then.